New video obtained by Target 12 shows Attleboro's police chief forcibly removing a teenager from a hockey rink. This video right here is making the rounds on social media and is raising questions on whether or not the chief was too forceful. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts spoke to the mayor tonight. She joins us live in Attleboro with what he is saying about this. Amanda? Well, Mike Shannon, that teen has been charged with disorderly conduct, but it's what happened before that arrest that has people talking. Now, the mayor tonight is defending his police chief's actions, saying he was just trying to restore order. Attleboro's police chief facing scrutiny for this, removing a 17-year-old from the city's hockey rink while off duty forcefully with a shove. The video posted to social media shows a pack of players, students, and refs coming off the ice following an altercation between players. In the group is a teenager dressed in a winter hat and black jacket. He's told to leave by another student, but then walks over to a ref shouting. That's when Chief Kyle Higney, dressed in a black jacket and khaki pants, is seen grabbing that teenager and shoving him through the crowd, all while pushing his police badge up to his face. The chief then grabs another man getting in his face, who we're told is an employee of the rink. It all took place after Wednesday night's hockey game between Norton and Dighton Rehoboth Seekonk. The co op team beat Norton 3 to 1, where Target 12 has learned Higney's son was on the losing team. My first reaction was, oh my gosh, you know, it just, it, it, was, it was a little bit concerning when I first saw it. Attleboro Mayor Paul Haro says he went step by step through the video with the chief. He says it was a chaotic situation and he used force out of fear that the teen would assault a referee. Just so the way the kid moved gave the police chief concern that the kid was going to assault the ref. And so the police chief quickly swooped in and forcefully pushed the uh, kid away. He says the teen continued to be disorderly as the altercation moved out of the rink and he was placed under arrest. Do you think that the chief used excessive force in this case? You know, I don't think the chief used excessive force. Haro says Higney was just trying to restore order, and no independent investigation is taking place just yet. Some new evidence uh, comes to light where the, uh, you know, something doesn't line up with what the chief said, or there's another video that shows that there was more that happened that wasn't told to me. Then we'll have to revisit that with the chief. Now, that teen was charged as a juvenile and was released to his parents. He'll be in family court on that disorderly conduct charge. We reached out to his family for comment but have not heard back. We also reached out to the chief to get his side of the story but also have not heard back. Live in Attleboro, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.